I will show you how to make a thin section of this granite here. First I have to saw some pieces out of it. I've done that before. I have to make sure that at least one side of the sample is more or less flat. Here you can see this side isn't flat, this side isn't either, so I have to grind this side first before I can glue it onto the slide. This sample is flat on this side. It's okay, I can use it like it is. This one has a flat side and a side that's not flat, so I can use the flat side to glue it on the slide. Here, this side is not flat, this side is good, so I can use this side. I put a little drop of Epos PTS on the middle of each slide. Uh, the uncured Epos PTS is blue. And now I collocate on each slide a sample with the flat side down, like this, straight in the middle. So. And now I put on each place one of the sample. I let down the holder, I press it down, I make sure that it push into the middle of the sample and then I close it. I put the bonding chick into it, I close it and then I turn it on and I press start. And now I have to wait one minute. And now I can take out the bonding chick with the samples on it. And now it's good to know how thick the samples are. So I set my caliper on zero on the glass and I can see that the sample has uh, a little less than two millimeters. Now I check the thin section mouse. It has to be clean. No four iron particle should be in here or in some other place on the bottom side. The counter nuts must be easily to move. All four. It's important. Open so. That's right. Turn back all four feet completely. Okay. 
make sure that the blue seal is in the groove all around. The slide has to touch this surface. That's why you have to make sure that there is not any dirt on it. Now I adjust the mouse for grinding of a thickness of 1.4 millimeters. Therefore, I put on both sides one. 1.3, 1.4, that means 1400 microns. On this side too, 1000 microns, 1300 microns, that's 1400 microns. I hold the mouse under water, I pump the air completely out. Then I press the button, I hold it firmly down, I take it out of the water, I put the sample on it, it has to fit, I hold it down, the sample, and then I release the button. Now it's firmly sucked on. And now we can work. This two surfaces on this side and on this side has to be completely clean. No dirt and no resin is allowed. Now I make sure again that the feet are complete inside and I put the mouse into the setting device. The mouse has to be exactly in the middle. The ball has to be here directly under this screw. I tighten this screw as strong as I can with three fingers. Now I turn the foot down, moving at the same time the counter nut. It has to be completely free. When I feel that I'm down and the counter nut is free, I turn the foot as strong as I can with two fingers, only with two fingers. I hold it and at the same time I counter the counter nut in direction of this arrow. That's important. I do the same with all four feet. I move the counter nut, at the same time I turn down the foot and when I'm down, I counter the counter nut. Now the foot is firmly on the bottom. I turn around the setting device and I do the same on the other side. I turn it down. I move the counter nut and when I'm down I turn this, um, the feet with two fingers and I counter. I do the same on this side. I move the counter nut, I turn down the foot and when I'm down, I counter a direction of the error. It shows here. The counter nut 
has to be on the downside, not on the upper side. You see, here fits a sheet, here it doesn't. It's countered downwards.